So we have the star card. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. The star card is here. This um, You could be an Aquarius or someone else that um, wants to come towards you. Um, could be an Aquarius. This also could be someone that is... Um, they could be healing or they. this is your energy. Someone see you as someone that's very healing. Someone that's very protected. Um, someone that is very balanced. You balance and pour out love to yourself and everyone else. The hair fine is here and then two of pentacles is here. And then the hangman is here. So somebody could feel like that they are, um, like this could be somebody going back and forth. The hair font and then two of pentacles. It's like juggling. This person could be going back and forth between two different belief systems. And then uh, the hangman is here. Them juggling between these two different belief systems, it had that person feeling stuck, the hangman, forced to get enlightened, forced to release something and heal with this star card being here. Ace of Wands is here. Yeah, so this person could start over. It's like they needed to get wise in order to have a new beginning, in order to start over. Six of Cups is here. And then Eight of Wands. So it's like, this is someone that wants to come back towards you, like from the past. Eight of Wands, it's like they want to communicate or they're coming towards you. And this person could have been stuck juggling. They could have also been in some type of commitment or some type of belief system where it kept them feeling stuck and just going back and forth. Now they're at this Ace of Wands energy and... um. They want to start over. This person wants to have a new beginning. The moon card is here. <laughs> and then Ten of Pentacles is here. This person could be trying to hide the fact <clears throat> that they're juggling when they come towards you. This is something that they possibly do not want you to know. Temperance in the reverse. Yeah, it's like something isn't balanced or grounded. I'm also getting this like whoever this person is, it's like they're woke. Whoever these people are that they have been around, Six of Cups could have been around their entire life. This Ten of Pentacles could be a family. And um, it's like, now that they're woke, <clears throat> they're going back and forth from being woke. And then this, this hangman energy, feeling stuck. <clears throat> and whatever belief system that they were in, majority of their life or whatever they believed in as they, you know, that was instilled in them from their family. And it's like, these are people that do not want a situation to be balanced out. So they could be hiding the, the fact that they're woke from their family. This is sad and just, this is just sad. Especially if this person is an adult. It's like, um, 
these are people that are um, illusionists. These are people that don't even believe in God. So whatever belief system that this person thought that their family or these people believed in, they don't. This is like something that they're covering up from whatever they're doing in the dark. It make them feel good to, you know, try to use God. And in reality, they don't believe in God. If these are people that are family members and they cared about this person, they would not judge the relationship or this person's understanding of how they view God. Just like this person would not judge or, you know, try to criticize their understanding of how they view God. Everybody have their own belief system. And it's like whatever this person believe in after, you know, getting spiritually woke, they're hiding that because they feel like these are people that possibly will not understand. And um, it's like they're juggling between the two. And them doing that is keeping them stuck in the hangman energy. Forced to see stuff for what it is, you know, to get more wise. And they see these are people that are um, unbalanced. That they're trying to hide the fact that they're spiritually woke in front of. <laughs> I'm so done. Yeah, the sun card is here. It's like a lot of stuff have been illuminated to this person as they have been in the tame man energy about these people. And these are, could be people that juggle between the two. One minute they're praising God, the next minute they're doing stuff in the dark. And they're sitting back just looking at, you know, everything. Four of Cups is here. These are people that rejected God a long time ago. And these are people that this person is... <laughs> the way I'm looking at this Four of Cups card, it's a hand being gifted a cup from the sky. And they're rejecting that cup. Three cups are on the ground. It's like this person, whoever these people are, they choose to be at the three of cups. Like these are people that they could, you know, go to church. They could be the type of people, as I say, that talk about God, throw God and other people face to try to make them feel bad when they're unbalanced. But they, these are the type of people that, you know, they go out a lot. They kick it. They always have gatherings. They're always drinking and partying. But they like to judge other people life to try to have them feeling stuck. Because they're insecure. They feel rejected. So if this person, you know, tried to say, hey, I'm spiritually woke. I learned this. I learned that. These are people that would be so insecure. They will feel rejected and they want, they will try to project that onto that person. And that's why they're hiding it. This is sad. The lovers is here. And then Queen of Cups. It's like they wanted this person to reject this spiritual union because they didn't want that person to get spiritually woke. They wanted that person to have the same understanding that they have, you know, doing stuff in the dark and then praising God and false flagging around. Just confusion. Seven of Cups and an illusion. Instead of this divine connection and this person, um, Queen of Cups, being in love with you. Or them coming towards someone that is emotionally balanced, someone that's very intuitive. Queen of Cups could be a psychic. Someone that is spiritually woke. And it's like, they did not want that person to have this spiritual connection with you. Because that person will walk away from Whatever this confusion is, seven of cups, whatever belief system that this person had them been believing their entire life since they were a child. Three of swords is here. It's like this didn't do nothing but cause depression in that person's life. They were depressed, unhappy over whatever decisions they made, they made in the past. And it's like, if they could turn back the hands of time, that's all I keep hearing. So if that person could have turned back the hands of time, they would, but they couldn't. This person needed to get wise. They needed to cleanse their self, heal their self and get woke. 
they were placed around a lot of people that do not understand them. They don't like the fact that this person is someone that's chosen by God, the hair finding the star card. They wanted that person to be juggling at the two of pentacles throughout life and feeling stuck. High priestess is here. Somebody that was trying to hide something, they're depressed, they're heartbroken. And this is somebody that needed to be cut off. Ace of Cups is here. Yeah, and it's like they were trying to hide. They were trying to hide the fact that um, this person is in love with you or something like that, that they knew. Or this person could be heartbroken. They've been trying to hide the fact that they're in love with you after whatever took place in the dark. They're, they're heartbroken because they, they tried to hide this. This person is wishing that they never tried to hide how they felt about you. Yeah, it left them feeling rejected, feeling insecure. Yeah. This person was hiding this because they were in some type of toxic cycle. They were binding and blinded to a lot of toxic people. This person could have been dealing with some type of addictions, bad habits, obsessions as well as they're in a toxic cycle. And it's just keeping them feeling stuck, keeping them caught up, keeping them juggling. To keep them binded to this devil for a lot of bad karmic debt. That's all. And this person would just be stuck in some type of toxic cycle and they would never be able to come, you know, in union for their spiritual union with you. The lovers is here. Page of Swords is here. This person could have gained some type of obsession watching you. And trying to hide the fact that they're in love with you. The Devil and Page of Swords, Ace of Cups, High Priestess, Three of Swords. And they're heartbroken. Yeah. You're on the chair. It's like you moved on. The chariot is here. You've moved forward. And this person is realizing that um, by them holding back four pinnacles, it just caused you to move forward. Yeah, and you're manifesting. The magician is here. It's like you have control of your own life. You're manifesting whatever it is that you want out of life. And they're wishing that they can turn back the hands of time. The emperor is here. Seven of wands and eight of swords. Yeah, it's like as you're moving forward and this person was holding back and you're, you know, manifesting, having control of your own life. They were attached to people that wanted them to be at the Eight of Swords, bonded, blind and stuff, tied up, not being able to see properly, not being able to move properly, binded to a lot of bad karma in this toxic cycle, being blocked off from you, Seven of Wands. It's like they were staying attached to Eight of Swords, people that were creating blockages for them. Somebody could have tried, I'm also getting, somebody could have tried to create blockages for you. They wanted you to feel stuck and that backfired. You moved on and they're stuck. Yeah, you're at the Ten of Cups happy. This could have been a group of people. They wanted you to feel stuck. They could have tried to wrap you up in some type of situation and everything backfired. Yeah, Tower is here. It's a lot that came out and they're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices because it only made you grow. It only made you gain truth and clarity to move forward. It also made you be at this four of pentacles energy, stingy with time, money, and energy, holding back from a lot of people after gaining truth and clarity. Ace of Swords is here. Yeah, a lot of people are stressed out. These are people that could have wanted... You to be seen as someone that was not mentally stable. 
because you're a queen of cups, someone that's emotionally balanced, emotionally stable, emotionally mature. And they got exposed. It's like, these are people that can't even sleep at night. They're stressed out. How did this person move forward as they were doing a lot of stuff in secret to try to have you stuck, have that person stuck, and it all backfired? Yeah, Justice is here. That's why they're stressed out. They got exposed. <laughs> Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, they're way down because justice is being served or been being balanced out. And it's like it's pressuring that person to heal or balance their self out and realize, hey, I'm stuck. I'm being blocked off. With this Ten of, ten of Wands being here. Yeah, King of Wands is here. It's like this person is being pressured to defend or stand their ground with this King of Wands being here. Take action towards whatever it is that they want out of life because this person hadn't got woke. This person is very in tune. And then Page of Cups is here. Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is weighing this person down to... Um, they could want to apologize or have some type of conversation with you emotionally. And it, it, it it's weighing this person down to rush towards you, Knight of Swords, without even thinking. This person had been slowed down for a long time. Knight of Pentacles is here. They were around immature people. They were in immature energy. And they were being distracted, slowed down, so they would not come in union with you. Four Wands is here. These are people that knew about this spiritual union and this connection. And they were trying to put an ending to it. They wanted it to end. King of Swords is here. And then the Fool card is here. <clears throat> And then seven of swords. <laughs> it's like this person is moving on, going towards a whole nother direction from somebody that they cut off. King of swords and seven of swords. This is someone that lied to them. They caused some type of deception in their life. They cheated this person out of stuff. They um did stuff in sneaky, deceptive ways. And it caused this person to put an end to something and go towards a whole nother direction. A fool is here. The Hermit, and then Two of Swords. It's like this is somebody that lied to this person. Two of Swords and then a Hermit. They could have lied on you to that person, and this person was in isolation away from you, or this person could have ghosted you. It's because this person needed to get wise. They needed to go within to investigate. They needed to see stuff for what it is. They needed to see stuff that was hidden. This all happened for a reason so this person could see the snakes that were around them. Yeah, Six of Pentacles is here. And then Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's like whoever this energy is, they didn't want to be left out in the cold. They didn't want to be seen as someone that was very low vibrational because they thought that person was going to share their wealth with them. Six of Pentacles is here. So they figure if they lie to this person, this person goes, you or keep their self isolated away from you. And they, um, you know, did this in a sneaky, deceptive way. This person would be equal with them. Give to them. Keep sharing their wealth with them or something like that. And they wouldn't be out in the cold. Five of Pentacles in the reverse of this person's will of fortune. It's like they wanted victory and success off of that person. Six of Wands and then the Will of Fortune is here. This is somebody that's very selfish and money hungry. Queen of, Queen of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. 
that's all they do is think about money. That's all they do is um, try to strategize on how they can look a certain way. So people can see them in certain lights that are not their own. They only care about money. And they're selfish. They overindulge in, you know, toxicity. Trying to, you know, get this before that person do. Get this before this person do. And they operate out of this five of swords energy. Envy, jealousy, and hatred. Trying to sabotage others to get up. Trying to get different stuff before other people get it. And it's not a race, but in this person's mind, they're determined to, <laughs> as these people aren't even looking at that person, they're determined to try to get what that person got before they get it. And these could be people that are all friends. As soon as they turn their back, they done found out or this, you know, different people have told them what they want or what they're getting ready to get. Now they're strategizing on how they can get it before that person do or those people do. This is sad. Yeah, in percent in reverse. This is someone that is unstable, unbalanced. This is someone that's very controlling, very manipulative, and they don't even have control over their self. They can't even stand up in any king or queen energy in the deck is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this is somebody that's very childish, childlike, and they're, they're an illusionist. This person stay in a seven of cups illusion and a confusion. And they want other people to be confused about who they are. So they figure if they look a certain way, people will never know. Queen of Wands and Two of Cups. It's like this is somebody that knew that this King of Wands was coming towards you. To partner up with you, to work with you. But they figure if they do something to cause deception, blind that person from the truth. This person would not leave them out in the cold and they would be equal with them and share their wealth with them. And they could have had different family members helping them and doing a lot of stuff in the dark and in secret. Whoever this energy is, this empress in a reverse, eight of cups and two of wands. And it's like this person is walking away from whoever this person is that just had them at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. They've walked away from all of the confusion. It's like this person planned this out, two of wands. Now that person is walking away, eight of cups. And they're not even looking back. Yeah, that person, they're, they're, they're sitting back in regret. They thought they had done did something to one-up you or one-up that person and it would be hidden. And this person would, be, would never leave them out in the cold. This person is always going to give to them. Take care of them. This is somebody that's very needy and codependent. They need somebody to take care of them because they're unstable. Empress in the reverse. They cannot manifest anything. They're not abundant because they operate in this devil energy. That's why they stay at the five of cups in regret. Stay at the five of swords, envious and jealous of other people. As soon as they turn their back, and they just had a conversation with that person or these people. As soon as they turn their back, they turn their back. It's like they're plotting and scheming on those people, getting behind the scenes, three of pentacles with other people, to watch that person, to try to hurry up and get this and that before that person do. If they done sat back and collaborated with them or asked them, what you, what should you think I do about this business I did? And they think this is a sincere friend. Whole time this person had them place an illusion over these people. To get them to see them in certain lights that's not their own. I'm so the <laughs> Queen of Swords and then the Strip Guard is here. It's like you're someone that is too strong. You could have spoke the, tr the truth about these people or this person. Because you're someone that's very intelligent. You're woke. And you're someone that's very strong. It's like whatever you ended up going through, it, you move forward. It put you on the chariot. It gave you the more, more strength to um, expand your consciousness and your awareness. Eight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, it's like you, you worked on yourself a lot. You chose to put work into yourself. You chose to pay attention to yourself. That's how you were able to have strength to grow.
This is somebody that pay attention to everybody else because they're at the seven of cups and illusions and confusions. Worried about stuff they shouldn't be worried about. Worrying about other people because they don't have any control or balance over their own life. Three of cups is here. Yeah, this type of person that all they do is think about is kicking it, partying, celebrating, going out, being seen in certain lights that's not their own, dressing up, looking like a clown. And then five of ones causing a lot of chaos, conflict, drama, havoc, trying to one up this person, one up that person out of jealousy. Knight of Cups is here. And then Three of Pentacles is here. So it's like you got two different people that are watching you that want to connect with you. As you see, this person is standing up here and two people are down there watching that person. Knight of Cups. These are people that want to express the way they feel to you and they want to connect with you. And this could be your twin and a soulmate. Nine of Pentacles and then the world is here. Wow. I'm also getting somebody. Somebody is coming towards you because they've been watching you. They want to connect with you. But it's like it's not only your twin. It's somebody else that have been watching you as well. And they want to come towards you at the Knight of Cups. They see you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. Single, self-sufficient, abundant, independent, very successful. And you've been saving yourself for a commitment. These are people that have been watching you for a long time. Seven of Pentacles is here. You're someone that's in a whole nother cycle. And these are people that could have realized they were in a toxic cycle. Keeping their self stuck. Judgment is here. Four of Swords and Page of Wands. So it's like one person have been watching you and it could, it's like two different people watching you. One person wants to communicate and they want something. It's like they want to communicate because they've been away or in isolation for a long time in solitude for a source. Another person is under judgment. So this could be this other energy that was watching you. This person could have been sitting back competing with you, copying you, doing a whole bunch of stuff in secret and they're under judgment. They invested a lot of time into receiving karma, and that's it. Wow. Yeah, whoever this King of Cups is, they want to communicate with you, message you, or something like that. And they've been in isolation and in solitude. It's like they were cleansing and healing their self, getting more enlightened, getting more woke. And this person is in love with you. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and King of Cups. It's like they want to start over with you. Ten of Swords is here. And then Nine of Wands. And somebody is sitting back literally nervous because this person found out about some type of betrayal. And that's why they made a decision to isolate. From whoever that person is. It's like that person thought they had it all figured out. And they literally could have thought that they had that person confused. This person would never know that they are empress in the reverse. Or someone that's unstable and unbalanced. That was trying to ride this person's coattail. And thought they were going to have victory and success. And this person was going to share their wealth with them. Mm -mm. It's like they betrayed that person over and over and over again. To try to keep that person in a never ending cycle of confusion. Which caused this person to make a final decision with this three of wands being here. And it's like, yeah, it made this person make a final decision. The um, nine of wands in the reverse to no longer interact with that person. If they were having sex with that person, they no longer wanted to have sex with that person. 
they were no longer chasing that person down for sex because they realized this person had to place some type of illusion over them to get them to share their wealth with them. And this is somebody that was very childish. Page of Pentacles. And it's like whoever they are, it's like they're sailing away or they've, they've sailed away from that person. Six of Swords and King of Pentacles. And they're coming towards you because this person wants to be in a commitment with you. 